Hi everybody, this is Lorraine from Canada. Uh, this morning we're going to be looking at uh, gender equality and uh, gender neutral language. So I'm just waiting for people to enter the classroom and then we'll get going. If, uh, if you are a uh, premium member then you can certainly enter the classroom right away and start the lesson or if not, um, if you wait for the two minutes then uh, the seats will open up and you'll be able to join the class with the rest of us. So, Thiago. Okay. So we're getting some viewers, that's great. So we're just waiting for um, everybody to be able to join the class, so uh, welcome those of you who are watching already. Uh, like I said, we're going to be talking about gender equality. We'll get some discussion going. Uh, first, we're going to be talking about uh, gender neutral language in English. Um, it's not that easy to, uh, to get gender neutral language sometimes and, uh, and English has its problems. So we're just waiting for people to be able to join the class now. That's great. All right. So one more minute and we'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm Lorraine and I'm from Canada. I live in uh, Ontario, the province of Ontario, very close to Toronto, a beautiful city. It's a great place to this, if you ever find yourself in Canada. Okay, there, we've got some people joining, that's great. All right, we have Thiago. Hey, Ray. Hello, how are you how doing? I'm very well, how are you? I'm fine too, thanks. Good. Nice to see you in class. Yeah, I missed your classes. <laughs> well, they, I, it's hard to find uh, spots now to, uh, to book classes. There are many teachers and um, a lot of the spots when I'm awake are, are uh, already taken. So oh, <laughs> I grab my shame. classes where I can. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm really glad to see you in this class. Me too. It's okay. a pleasure. Good. Uh, Graciela, is that how you pronounce your name? Graciela, hello? No, I don't see anybody there. Abdallah? Abdallah, are you yes. there? Hel yes, I'm here. Hello, teacher. Hello, nice to talk to you. Where are you from, Abdallah? Uh, I'm from Egypt. Oh, wonderful. What's it like in Egypt today? Uh, What's the weather like? Those are uh, it's good uh, cool weather. Yeah, good. Yeah. Very nice. Glad to have you in the class. Yes, thanks. So, Jefferson, are you there? Hello, Jefferson. No, I'm not getting any re response from Jefferson. Uh, Wolf. Hello, Wolf. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Is that a picture of you, Wolf? <laughs> yeah, don't, <laughs> don't you like it? <laughs> well, you look a little scary. Scary? Yeah, you have big eyes on the top of your head. Is it a mask? No, it's, it's an occurs. Oh, okay. Are you eating cereal? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Don't worry about the pictures. I'm not really scary. <laughs> okay, that's good. Where are you from, Wolf? I'm from Netherlands. 
Netherlands. Okay, very nice. Welcome to the class. Thanks. What language do you speak? What's your natural language? Dutch? Wolf? Jefferson, are you there yet? Yes, sorry, I'm here. Good, wonderful. Where are you from, Jefferson? I am from Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Yeah. Is it warm in Brazil today? Not so much. It's a little foggy. A little foggy. Well, we have yeah. snow here. <laughs> ah, this is great. I love cold. <laughs> oh, you like the cold. I'll trade you places. <laughs> I like the warmth. <laughs> Oh, really? Nah, it's. I think it's better cold, cold days. You think so? Well, maybe cold nights, but not cold days. I like the warm. Okay. Yeah, the sun is good. Yeah. <laughs> Roberto, are you there, Roberto? I see you're on my screen, but I'm not hearing you. And we've got a few more people joining. Some problems. Okay. Abderamani, is that how you pronounce your name? Abderamani? I'm not hearing you. Your microphone, um, maybe the microphone is muted. Hello? Is that Abdurrahmani? Am I saying that right? <laughs> Hi, how are Hi. you? Hi, I'm very well. <laughs> if you make sure that the verbling window is closed, just have the Google Hangout window, okay? Well, okay, yeah. All right, good. So, can you say your name, please, so that I know how to pronounce it? Riyad. One more time? Say it again. Can you? Okay. Okay. Can you say your name again? Is it Abdurrahmani? Riyad. 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 Yeah. Oh, could you? Can you write it in the chat so I can see how you spell it? Yes. Riyadh? Yeah. Ah, thank you. Very good. good. Where are you Morocco. from, Riyadh? <laughs> uh, I am from in Algeria. Oh, very good. Okay, welcome to class. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to get going. Um, there may be still some spots that people can take. Hmm. Riyadh? Yeah, yeah. You will have to mute your mic because it is very noisy in your um, your room. So if you aren't speaking, please mute your mic so that we can hear. <laughs> because otherwise we just hear noise. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Hernan? Hernan, welcome. Are you there, Hernan? Hello? Hi. Uh, that, that's Hernan? Yes. Okay, welcome Hernan. Nice to have you back. Thank you. Uh, I'm from Hernan. Uh, I'm Hernan. I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. Yes. Okay. I'm hearing myself echoed. Uh, make sure the verbling window is closed and just have the Google Hangout. Okay? Thank you. And uh, David? Hello. Is that how you pronounce your name? David? Yes, Davide. Davide. I'm from Italy. Ah, Davide. Okay, so it's been exciting in Italy with the uh, new Pope and all. <laughs> yes, I, I live in Rome. Do in you? Italy, there, was, um, there, there was a traffic jam because oh. of, the, uh, of the election of the Pope. 
Right, yeah. Well, in that's... Rome, the, the, there is always a traffic jam, but it was <laughs> a, a, a traffic Even... jam that was particularly important. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll bet. Maybe... Very busy there. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to get started with class. This one is about uh, gender equality. Um, we're also going to look at gender neutral language. So I'm going to start a screen share with you and hopefully everybody will, oh before I do that I should just, um, there is a worksheet that is associated with this class. Um, it was on the, um, the class listing but if you didn't get it then I'm going to post it in the chat hopefully. Yes, there it is. Uh, enter. Okay. So you can follow along on the worksheet as well, although I have changed many things on the worksheet and some of it we're not going to use. So I'll go with my screen share. All right. Can everybody see it? It says gender yes. equality. Yes. Okay. The first thing we're going to look at is a little story. And maybe I can get um, Wolf. Could you read the little story for us? Can you see it? Uh, hello? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. In can a, you? In your, can in, in your screen, yeah? Yes. Can you read the story out loud? Sure. Thank you. One day, a father was driving his son to school when they were both badly injured in a, an accident and had to go to hospital. The doctors at the hospital decided that the boy needed to have an operation at once, so the surgeon was called. A few minutes later, the surgeon arrived, looked at the boy and said, I can't operate on this boy, he's my son. Who is the surgeon? Okay, so good question. Did everybody understand the little story? Yes. Who who is the surgeon? Uh, his mother. <laughs> okay. Everybody agree? Yes. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, when I first heard that story, it was many years ago. And we were all puzzled who the surgeon could possibly be because even here in Canada, doctors were, were men, especially surgeons were men. Um, but of course, things have changed. I'd like to know, in your country, is it common for women to be doctors or surgeons? Uh, let's start with uh, Abdallah. <laughs> Abdallah, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Okay. Is it common for doctors in your country to be women? Yes, uh, it's common. It is common? Okay, uh, thank you. Yeah. All right. Has it been that way for a long time or just in, say, the last 20 or 30 years? than uh, this period, but uh, it, it, uh, it depends on, uh, on, on the patients. Uh, many, uh, many patients uh, uh, don't trust in, uh, in doctors who are uh, women. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, I know in Canada I like to have a female doctor, but my husband likes to have a male doctor because we both feel that a doctor who is of the same sex will understand us better what we're going through. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Raed? What about you? Yes. In your country, is it common for doctors or surgeons to be women? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, has it been that way for a long time or just recent? 
I not understand. You repeat, please. Yes. Have women been doctors in your country for a yeah. long time or just recently? For a long time. For a long time. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Super. You're welcome. You're welcome. Davide, whoops. I uh, should yeah. have done that. Um, what about in Italy? Is in it Italy, common for Yes, it's common. My my family doctor is a, is a woman. Okay. Is in, also for for a long time when I was I am now I'm a 35 but when I was when I was younger uh, there were always um, female doctors. Okay. In Italy we also have the, the doctor uh, name is uh, is feminine. We say dottoressa. We don't say surgeon. Okay. We, we don't say doctor only with a male. We say doctor, male and female. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah, Nan? Whoops. Yes. Uh, what about in your country? Is it common for women to be doctors? Hernan? Okay, we're going to move on because I'm not getting an answer there. Jefferson? Yes. In Brazil, is it common for women to be doctors? Yes, yeah, sure. N not just uh, this, this profession. Another uh, profession, too. For example, we have a police woman, we have a directors, teachers, a lot of professions. It's okay. Common. Good. Thank you. Okay. And Roberto? Hi. Uh, I live in Uruguay. <clears throat> and in my country, it's come recently, about Just 30 or 40 years ago. Okay, good. Thank you. And we have um, uh, Samir. Hello, Samir. Hi, teacher. Hello. And um, I'm, I'm sorry, Samir, I forgot where you were from. And what about in your country? Uh, is it common for women to be doctors? Yes, it is uh, common, but not at all. At okay. all, because uh, maybe you can say the men's doctors about eight percent. Okay, thank you. And um, Thiago? Yeah, that's right. What about in your country? I'm sorry, I uh, forgot what country you were from. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. Oh, another like Brazil. Jefferson. Okay, it's like yeah. Jefferson. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. All right, and but, last yeah, of all, um, Wolf in the Netherlands. Uh, I I didn't say Netherlands. I said Neverland. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. It's not important. It's okay. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's common, but uh, majority is man. It's not woman. But it's okay. Cool. Okay. Good. Thank you. So we'll just get in. Oh. All right. We're going to try and uh, put these words that are at the top of the uh, screen share. There, things like husband, sibling, man, niece, sister. We're going to uh, categorize them, whether they're male or female, or would they work for both? male and female. Okay, so I'll do the first one. The first word is husband and that would be male. Husband is the opposite of wife obviously, so he's the man, she's the woman. So the word sibling, the next one, what do you think? Male, female or for both? Does everybody know what the word sibling means? Okay, uh, Davide, can you uh, give me an, uh, what is a sibling? Is it like brothers? I'm sibling with my sister or with my brother? Okay, exactly. So the two of you are brother and sister. So what do you think? Where should it go? What Both. column? 
under mm -hmm. both. Yeah, good job. Then men, where is it going to go? What do you think? Man. <laughs> Male, or female, or both? Male. Male. Male? Okay. Yeah. Take a look. Okay. That that one's kind of, we've got a few that are, are a little bit uh, strange because they're going to go for both. But we'll put man over in male. And in general, maybe uh, we talk about the men, uh, maybe uh, co uh, contain uh, or carry the both meaning. Yes, it can do, and we'll talk about ah. that in a little while. I probably should have put man over into the both category, but we'll work on it from here. Uh, what about niece? What is a niece? Female. Female, that's right. And does anybody know what a niece is? Okay, it's, uh, it's the child of your brother or sister, yes. Okay, so sister. It's, it's just a mouse. I, I'm sorry, I had two people talking there. Excuse me. Yes. Um, who's talking? Was that um, Riot? I... I was asking, niece is the sister of nephew. I'm sorry, what was the question again? For niece? Niece is the sister of nephew. Uh, or yes. nephew is for both. No, a niece is the sister of a nephew. But okay, typically when we talk about a niece, we say it is the child of your brother or sister. Okay. Okay. Maybe like in French, the, 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 it's something like niece. Maybe. Uh, I don't know French, so. <laughs> okay, so we're on to sister now. Where will I put sister? Female. In the female, yeah. Good. And wife? Female. Female. Yeah. And his? Male. Male. Male? Yeah. Male. All right, everybody agree male? Yeah, I mean male. Yeah. <laughs> it's under both. <laughs> what? Well, when we get to the next slide, we'll explain that. Okay? okay. It's it's a problem with the English language. It's a huge problem with the English language. Okay. Because normally you think his is under male. And that's what I was thinking, but when I went through these exercises, I realized that no, it's not. It's both. So we'll go on. Uh, where are we? Aunt. May a uh, female. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's good. And groom. Both. Mm, no. What's a groom? Okay. What's a groom? Male is. Yes, but what is a groom? If you it's, had to tell somebody, it's what is the a groom? Boyf boyfriend. Okay, it's when you are getting married. You have a groom is the man, and what's the woman? If the man is a groom, what is the woman? <laughs> Anybody know? Right. Bride. Yes. So we bride. have it up here, a bride, yeah. All right, okay. so groom is the man. Okay. What's, what's the difference, excuse me? Yes. What's the, the difference between bride and wife? A bride is not yet a wife. She hasn't been married yet. You are a bride okay. on the day that you get married. Ah, okay. Okay. Engaging the period? You mean? I I'm sorry? Uh, in engaging, uh, engaging the period? Engaging. Period. Engage the. Engage the. Uh, I will uh, write in the chat. Yeah, write it down.
Okay. Um, we'll, we'll get going again on this. Uh, we're at she? Yes. She's female. She is a female, yeah. Okay, is there something here? In the... Oop. Uh, cousin? Male Both. or female? Both, yeah. Both. Agreed. Uh, and what about what about he? Uh, we ask you, sorry? Male. Male. Okay, just one moment for the question. We'll just do he first. Okay. Male or female? Male. Or both. Male. <laughs> or both. <laughs> That's a <Male>. both. What's <laughs> that? Another one of those weird boths. Okay, so what was uh, what was your question? Can I say his to a woman? Um, Ryan, did you have a question? Yes, uh, no, no. Okay, then we'll keep going here. Um, I'm Samir. I, I asked you. I'm, oh, Samir, I'm sorry. Yes. yes. Go ahead. Uh, I asked. Okay. Can I say his to uh, a woman? No. But we'll come. Okay. Well, just, just, just hold on for a moment. Um, that question because. When we get to the next slide, it will be explained. Okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> I know, it looks really wrong. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right. So, child. It's for both. both. It's for both, yes. Very good. Son? Uh, male. Yes, male. Uh, daughter. Is the opposite of a son. It's That's female. That's right. It's female. Good. And master. Is a boat. No. A master. Master is for. Master, maybe the, the opposite is mistress, maybe. Yeah, it's male. <laughs> the opposite is mistress. Master and mistress. Mistress, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Nephew. MR in in short. Male. Male, yeah. Um, there's bride. Female. Female, yes. Female, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bride and the groom. Well, the bride is the female. Uncle. It's, it's mom. Yeah, it's male. Brother. Male. Yeah. Whoop, I got ahead of myself there. How did I do that? Oh, darn. Anyway, I, I hit the wrong button and I got all the answers up. So now we can just look at all the answers. <laughs> So, uh, Rad, Rad, you gotta um, mute your mic, please. It's noisy. I not understand. Okay, I'll do it for you. It's very noisy in your room, so it it makes a noise for everybody. So I've just muted your mic. When you speak, unmute your mic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have um, uh, he, child, and spouse are in the both column. Uh, we've got she, daughter, bride, and female. Yeah, so we did them all. Uncle there. No, we haven't quite got all of them. Where are we? Him is the next one. It's, it's male. It's male? Yes. Why am I off? I got brother. Oh, okay. I miss brother, and him is under both. Mm -hmm. So we've got mm -hmm. we've got his, he, and him under both for a reason, and then we have her, which is definitely what maybe both, just because he's he and him yes. are yeah, you, both. 
You'd think so, but no, that's not how it works. <laughs> it's funny. Female. And then, and then there. There. It's with both. Under both, that's right. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go. This is a problem with English. How can we make it inclusive? So I want, uh, Abdullah, can you read sentence number one for me, please? Uh, every exam uh, candidate uh, must switch off his mobile phone. Okay, now, when you look at that sentence, when we're talking about exam candidates, do you think that there are both men and women, or just men? Uh, both uh, men and women. Okay, both men and women, and yet we have the word his. Okay. This is grammatically correct for English, but it is not neutral. It's not inclusive. When we say his, it really is meaning for a man because in the past, most, most people who were in school, like way back when, were, were boys and men, not women. And so the language doesn't have... Um, a word that means both his and her. So we have to choose one or the other and his is what got chosen. But we can change the sentence so that it is more neutral. Can anybody think of a way we could say this sentence that is grammatically correct but does not use his? It uses another one of the words that was in the column for both. Can anybody mm -hmm. think of any way to change it? What can we do? Maybe, Maybe that... Go Maybe ahead. That, uh, that candidates must reach off their mobile phone. Very good, yeah. That's a good way to do it. If you change um, the word candidate to candidates, then you can use the word there. And there means both it is not male or female, it's, it, it's neutral. So that's a good way to change that sentence. All exam candidates must switch off their mobile phones. Okay. If you ask uh, the candidate, you can't say their mobile? Um, who was if asking? You talk, Samir. Samir, sorry, yes? Uh, okay, you, if you ask uh, the candidate, uh, if you talk uh, directly to him, you can't say this uh, sentence, their if, mobile? If you're talking directly to one candidate, then you would say you must switch off your phone. Okay. If you are talking to a room full of men, then you could say what was there originally. Okay. Each candidate okay. must turn off his phone. If you were talking to a room full of women, then it would be each candidate must turn off her phone. But if you want to be inclusive, the best way to do it is to, to have it plural, uh, the word candidate, turn it into candidates. And then you can say there. Okay? okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, Rayad, if you could do number two, read the sentence, please. Rayad? No? All right, uh, Davide? Okay. Can you do it? Yes. If the consumer is not satisfied with the product, he may return it within 28 days. Okay. So we've got this he going on here. If the consumer is not satisfied with the product, he. So how can we change this sentence so that it is more gender neutral? Anybody? Maybe. Okay, go ahead, Davide, you can do it. Okay. Maybe the consumers that are not satisfied with the product can change, may return it within 28 days. Okay, that's a good one. Um, that works. I think mine is just slightly different. 
So again, we're changing it to they. We want to okay. make consumer. If you make it plural, then you can use they. So you are the change is that I did, didn't use a, a, an hypothetical period. You are using an hypothetical period that is m much more correct, maybe. Uh, no, yours worked as well. There are more than one way of uh, doing okay. this, um, okay. but you know, on a on a slide, I can only really show one other okay. way. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so yes. The the rule here I'm trying to uh, point out is whenever possible. Uh, change the the candidate or consumer to a plural, so that you can yes. use they and their rather than he or his. Okay. Okay. So the same goes for uh, number three. Uh, Hernan, are you there? Hernan. Yes. Can you read number three, please? Oh, okay. Do you know that word? It's leopard. Excuse me. Yes. Can you read it? Can you read it? Uh, I, okay, okay. A leopard, leopard um, cannot change his, his spot. Spots, yes. Spots. Spots. Very good. Okay. Uh, I think you might have the verbling window open, so try shutting that so we don't get the crosstalk, the echoes. Thank you. Uh, okay, so a leopard cannot change his spots. There's that his again. How can we make this inclusive? Neutral, gender neutral. Wolf? Their, a leopard can, can, cannot change their spots. Yeah, leopards cannot change their spots. Good. All right, now this one is a little bit different. Okay, go ahead. Somebody has excuse, a... Yes. Excuse me, may I use its? Um, Just because for animal... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a leopard cannot change its spots. Yeah, you could use it for, for animals, for sure. Okay. That would be good. That works, too. Um, Samir, can you read number four? Okay, well... Someone stole my car last night. I hope the police arrest him soon. 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 Yes. Very good. Okay. So this one can be done a couple of different ways. Does somebody have an idea of one way? Okay. Someone Who wants stole to try? My, someone stole my car last night. I hope the, the police arrest them soon. Okay, someone is a single, singular. So this is also singular. But you could change this to something gender neutral. Maybe some people, some people arrest them soon. Um, Possibly, um, um, although you may know that only one person stole your car. Okay. So that's correct, but how would you get around getting away from him? Maybe, I hope he gets arrested. No, he, he is, ma is made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then. But think of somebody who steals. What do we call a person who steals? A thief. A thief. So, how about if we put thief Maybe. in there? I, I hope, hope the, may I arrest this thief. Okay, or the thief. The thief. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what we could put. Now, another possibility that you can use, which is not really grammatically correct, is to use the word them. I hope the police arrest them soon. Even though we've got a someone, which is singular, um, the, it's very common to use them, although grammatically it's not great. It's better to put the thief. I hope the police arrest the thief soon. On the street, you'll hear 
English speakers say them even though it's someone meaning singular so it depends on whether you are feeling like being grammatically correct or understood on the street probably being understood on the street is more important okay any questions about that one no all right the last one uh, Wolf can you read the number five please Darwin claimed that man evolved from apps. Okay. So we have that problem again. Man. We're uh, describing the whole human race as being a man. Womankind. And we can use womankind? Um, no. Well, mankind, womankind, again, we've got no, 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 gender not split. Woman. I didn't say womankind. I'm uh, sorry. Woman. Humankind. Oh, humankind. Yeah. Humankind. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's, you can't use womankind. It's not possible. But is mankind is possible? Yes, but you can use this. Darwin claimed that humans evolved from apes. If I use human beings, is not good. Um, you human can beings... use. You can <laughs> use human beings as well. Human beings is just the same as humans. Okay, it's That's not like for saying, all for animals. Okay. Yeah, um, apes. You couldn't okay. say really ape beings, but human beings we do. I don't know why. Oh, That's. Okay. <laughs> but humans, apes, dogs, cats. Okay, they're all um, the groups. So it's okay. perfectly um, okay to say humans. Darwin claimed Perfect. that humans evolved from apes. Okay, excellent. All right, so that's the uh, the grammar part of our lesson. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is just um, a little bit of... Oh, no, I'm not. Sorry. I forgot about this part. And I forgot about this part, and I forgot to, uh, to uh, blank these ones out. So we're just looking at making it gender neutral. We have fireman, we have firewoman. To make it gender neutral, firefighter. Same with the policeman, police officer. So we're trying to get away from using man or woman. Um, actor and actress, it's interesting, it is turned into just actor, which was the male form in the original. But, uh, yeah, are, are there any questions about any of these? Do they make sense? Using performers is, is just like using actor, or is it something that is more... Uh... Performer? Uh, less inclusive. Um, it's also for musicians. Yeah, performer is a good a good word. Again, it's very gender neutral. That's very good. An actor, though, is is more specific because okay. a performer, like you said, could be a singer, could be a musician, could be a dancer, could be an actor. They're all performers. Okay. So a singer, you wouldn't say, you know, a singer and a singeress. <laughs> we just say singer. Okay. Okay. Now, um, the worksheet that I was working from had chair as being either chairman or chairwoman. But here in Canada, we tend to say chairperson. Okay. It's, it's just a, a local colloquial thing, I guess. And then waiter, waitress, server. Somebody who's serving tables. Okay. All right. All right. Now we get to the discussion, the fun part. Um, this, I want you, um, maybe I'll get people to read. Uh, Davide, if you could, uh, David, I'm sorry, okay. Davide, Davide, yes. right? Yes. Davide. Read the first one. Are some jobs too dangerous or difficult for women to do? Does your country employ women firefighters, police officers, soldiers, etc.? All right. Now, Davide, when you say this word, you're saying it sounds to me like you're saying woman, and it's, it's women. Women. Excuse me. Women. Okay. Good. So, what do you think? Who wants to start the discussion? Abdullah, in your country, are there jobs that you think are too dangerous or difficult for women to do? Yes, 
uh, I think Watcher's uh, job, uh, military job, uh, um, taxi drivers. Taxi drivers? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Why taxi drivers are too dangerous for a woman? Actually, it's, uh, I'm familiar here to, uh, to women to work uh, as a taxi driver. But uh, there is uh, a little woman work uh, this job. But uh, 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 this job depend, uh, depends on, on, uh, on transportation to, to, uh, to transfer from uh, uh, to transfer to the, or to travel to a distant uh, areas, maybe far uh, far from uh, the urban or far from the right. Yeah. So you so, you um, taxi drivers might find themselves in areas that are very remote and maybe yes. dangerous. Okay, good. Yes, I think. All right, good. Thank you. Um, uh, Riyadh, are there women firefighters in your country? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Um, for example, my, my wife is a doctor. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, the woman um, uh, driving the car, the B car, is it a B car? A yes. lot uh, a big car is driving um, uh, I think uh, is uh, the, the woman is difficult uh, I'm not uh, it would be difficult for a woman to drive a large car yeah exactly okay Good. Uh, All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Davide, uh, are there women firefighters in Rome? I, I, I've never seen women firefighters in Rome. Okay. There are police officers, soldiers, um, every kind of work is done by women, by, but i never seen women firefighters. Maybe okay. they, 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 they exist. Okay. In Canada, um, we have uh, regulations for, uh, let me just get my picture up so that you know who's talking. Get rid of the screen share for a minute. Um, it, there are, there are um, size uh, stipulations for firefighters. They don't say you can't be a woman, but you have to be six feet tall, you have to weigh a certain weight, you have to be able to do certain physical things in order to become a firefighter. Yes, so, maybe the, see. Yeah, I was just going to say some women like myself, I'm I'm 5 foot 1, I weigh, you know, 120 pounds. I probably wouldn't be a very good firefighter. Um, but other women who are large and who can carry the weight, who can do those things, there's no reason why in Canada they can't become firefighters. Yes, maybe also also in Italy. I never seen women firefighters, but for sure, w women that want to to work as firefighters or soldiers, they have to to pass the physical examinations. But if, right. if they are right, they can do every every job they want. W women soldiers are, um, are started to to work as soldiers maybe ten years ago. Before in Italy, we didn't have women soldiers. But um, as, I, as I know, every kind of work can be done by women or, or by men or women uh, without any distinction. Right. In uh, Italy, are women put into combat roles when they are soldiers? Do no. they act? No. May, may, maybe no. I, I heard that in the United States there is something, that there was a discussion about the... The, the the women that are fighting that are supposed to fight on, also on the first line. Okay. In Italy, we say prima linea. Maybe that is first line. 
is okay. the, the, the the line that is the, 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 uh, that is the the most uh, the most exposed to the attack of the foreign of the of the enemy, <laughs> of the <laughs> whatever enemy. they are. <laughs> okay, great, thank you, um, Ernan. What about in your country? Um, is there are there um, jobs that are too dangerous for women? Uh, yes, uh, in, in Colombia there are women mm, working in um, many jobs. Mm, uh, for example, mm, there are um, um, mm, party women. Okay. Um, um, police, women police. Okay, police. but but are there any jobs that women are not allowed to do because it's too dangerous for women? Oh yes. Yes, yes. What would that be? <laughs> What? <laughs> Sorry, I, I understand. Okay. We'll move on because we're running out of time, okay? We'll ask you another question in a minute. Thank you. Samir? Yes? In your country, are there jobs that are too dangerous for women? Of course. There is many jobs that are dangerous to women. Like, uh, uh, army, in army, and in uh, police officer okay. and uh, firefighter. This is very dangerous to women because Are... they may be exposed to uh, dangers. Are they allowed to be those things, though, even though it is dangerous? Pardon? Are there women firefighters in your country, even though it's dangerous for them to be a firefighter? No. No? no. Okay. Great, thank you. Mm. Wolf? Yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah, it's, uh, I can say military, of course, in a combat area is really is a difficult uh, difficult for women or the, or, or, and also obstacles, man's job and also mining is also is not for women is difficult job is a mining right. yeah, uh, it's hard hard stuff is not for women and uh, also prison prison guard right is not suitable for women uh, bodyguard also women can't do bodyguard in front of the bar it's not for them and right yes that, okay. that kind of things. Good. Okay. Let's uh, let's go on to some different questions here. What else do we have? Okay. We're going to do number three. In your opinion, why are so many successful artists, chefs, racing drivers, etc., men, and why aren't there more women in these fields? What do you think? In your opinion. Abdullah? Yes. Maybe uh, men are uh, more intelligent. Okay. <laughs> they have uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time to work and to to prove um, their service because uh, uh, obviously he he um, he uh, he w uh, will try to improve to his wife or girlfriend or no woman uh, in his life he is his uh, the best and um, it's a normal um, I think uh, and also the uh, women are uh, are. Uh, more con uh, concerning with 
babies raising uh, the yeah. children. Uh, okay. The, here, I uh, built maybe uh, less than uh, than nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I can see your point. Um, when women get married, um, they are the ones that typically uh, look after the children when the children come along. It's the same in Canada, and therefore the opportunities to do these other things are not within their reach because they're at home with their babies. If in Canada they decide that they want to work outside of the home it means they have to find somebody to take care of their children and go into childcare so it's always a trade-off it's difficult to become famous at something if you're if you have your um, your energy split between your life at home and your life outside of the home so but, good points. Thank but, you. Uh, but actually, uh, this uh, successful men uh, are raised by a great woman. <laughs> so <laughs> the end result uh, is the same. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, let's get uh, Riot's ideas on this point. So why are women not uh, represented more as artists? Shit. Racing car drivers, you know, professional things. It's a diverse profession. Is a woman uh, is, uh, driving the, the bus, the bus, and uh, driving the crew. What's the bus? And um, I think it's uh, dangerous uh, with uh, to to drive in a grill. Uh, the woman is um, intelligent. Okay. Okay, I can't hear you anymore. I think you're. Uh something wrong with your microphone right I can't hear you I'm gonna I'm gonna move over to the uh, day because we're running out of time here I want to see what he wants to say okay sorry <laughs> never okay what do you think David uh, is uh, women are not represented as much as men in these uh, professionals like being an artist, being a um, racing car driver, being... Uh, maybe, maybe it depends. The, the CEO of my, of my enterprise is a woman. She's, okay. a very, she's a very strong woman. But um, it depends. Maybe that um, when you're a woman, you are not supposed to, to practice r r r racing. So you, you uh, women tend to prefer other, other, other type of sports that are more feminine, that are more. Um, also, because it's something that is very dangerous. Maybe that uh, your father and your mother don't want you to. Yeah, to that's very true. In, yeah. a, in a very, in a very dangerous sport. Mm, regarding chefs, it, 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 it's it's uh, it's strange that just it's strange that the most famous chefs in the world are are men. Just because uh, in my in my family, my mother is 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 is, is very able at cooking. My father is not capable. is is not capable cooking. So it's strange that you can get famous uh, being a chef. And you are not a woman just because in the in our work in Italian culture, uh, women are supposed to be good cookers. Yeah, and typically Italian women are very good cooks, from my experience. <laughs> maybe that maybe that the world uh, has evolved to gender equality only in the last. Fifty years, so men tend to tend to get for themselves. This kind of works, 
not maybe that they are not the best the, 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 they, the, they are not fitted as best to do that that work but they they tend to preserve themselves in certain positions that's true yeah I I think with women um, they tend to be at home cooking for their families if a man becomes a chef he's doing it as a profession he is not cooking for his family he's he's cooking for a big restaurant somewhere yes yes but um, maybe that, um, all, all also for for other kind of of works like like also successful artists or um, or any other kind of work maybe that men tend to preserve their strong position also if they are not the best treated to do some work just yeah. because like it's like colonialism england or french or, or or spain tended to preserve their position during the past years also if right. they, if they, they Debbie, didn't Debbie, have, i'm sorry right. i have to cut you off because it's 10 o'clock and i have okay. to close this class but thank you everybody for joining in and thank we'll see you, you next you. time okay bye 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 bye, bye. Thanks, bye. Thank, you. thank you bye thank you bye, bye. bye.